Hi everyone, welcome back to JPWHU TV. My name is John, your host as always, and I hope you're all doing well as I always do. This is the full time thoughts of Aston Villa 1, West Ham United 4. Before I go into it, guys, I genuinely, genuinely ask you to watch this video. Reason being is because I've noticed that so it seems to be some people seem to be not watching the content quickly because they seem to be clicking onto it, pausing it and putting their comments without actually watching the video because the watch time has dropped massively over the last couple of months. So as much as I love interaction with you guys, please do interact properly by watching this the, the, a good portion of this very short video. All right. So yeah, just to crack on, to start off with it, um, as you guys know, I didn't do the watch along because I've been out for the weekend and had a fantastic weekend. You might hear my throat's a little bit gravelly, got very drunk at a Halloween party last night, but that's by the by. Um, didn't get to watch all of the game, I, got, I watched like 90% of it, missed uh, Ben Johnson's goal, very, very glad, I saw watched the replay. The guy has um, has unbelievable confidence to take that on. I'm so glad he's got on the score sheet now in the Premier League. Very, very good player for us over the last few weeks now. Uh, you could argue over the last season or so, to be honest with you, because I've been raving about him ever since he came in. Um, looks like it looks like selling Ngaki was the right um, was the right choice after all. But you know, hindsight is a wonderful thing. Sufal was fit for this game, but kept. He kept him out. Johnson was the, the, cho the chosen, the chosen one for the right back position, shall we say? The chosen one. Um, very, very good performance uh, in terms, in terms of great strike. Not very happy with the Aston Villa equaliser, to be honest with you guys. I said in the preview that Ollie Watkins is a player to look out for, and we didn't. We left him completely unmarked in that corner if I remember correctly, and just literally nobody nobody anywhere near him, totally unmarked, and it's one all on the 34th minute. Having said that, the man who set up Ben Johnson's goal got a great assist from Ben Rama, and, and so Declan Rice on the 38th minute, academy players on the score sheet, fantastic, very, very happy with that, 2-1 up at half-time. Very, very happy with how we performed in general um, from what I saw. Yeah, you, there is a very, very good argument that we could have had a penalty on uh, for Zuma's shirt being pulled. There's a very good argument that Villa could have had a, shirt, um, a penalty on the other, other end as well. So checks and balances, I guess, from that side of things. But, you know, um, Ben Rama setting up rice i think ben rama started too long on the ball as far as i as far as i'm concerned i really genuinely think he did just not really not really right not right it just he just seemed to be i don't know if he was trying to shoot or he was trying to get himself in into a position to shoot or he was just not confident to shoot i don't know what was going on but rice put rice screen for the ball got it and bam it's 2-1 as i say at half time um pablo fornaus's individual goal on the 80th minute was an unbelievably good run there's a lot of people criticizing saying he didn't have a very good game today and to a degree i can't really disagree because you know obviously he had a few few things here and there but to get a goal when you're playing badly is a very very good thing <laughs> very good thing and of course Lanzini coming on for Ben Rama in the second half and he's and Lanzini set up Bowen to make it 4-1 I mean obviously you know Villa were down to 10 men by the 50th minute but we were already already ahead as it was anyway yes it yes you can argue that it made it a little bit easier for us as a result of that but at the same point Guys, we talking of points, we are on goal difference with Man City for third place in the table. That's bonkers. Ten games in, just so just over a quarter of the way through the Premier League season so far, plus the European games that we've got, plus the League Cup game that we've we've got against Spurs coming up uh, towards the end of November, as uh, sorry December I should say, the quarter final. It's just it's it's bonkers. It really is it's fantastic. I'm loving this. Absolutely loving this. This is the West Ham I waited all a long, long time to see to get back to the so-called glory days of the 90s and the two early 2000s under Red Knapp and you know and the boys of 86, etc., etc., etc. But very, very happy with how we're going at the minute. 
don't get used to this guys we know the bubble's gonna burst no didn't really mean to use that that cliche but you know what i mean the bubble's gonna burst at some point we are gonna start losing games we are gonna start drawing games we should be winning we are gonna lose games that we should be drawing you know it's gonna happen at some point but guys as always put your comments in the comments section below let me know your thoughts on this uh we are still 47 away uh, 47 subscribers away from the Magic 2000 so if you're enjoying the content and you want to know more then by all means please do hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get to know when new content is going up please like this video if you if you enjoy it if you've enjoyed it I should say and also please do share this content with anybody that you feel may want to watch this and just isn't aware of the channel it's not hard to do guys it really isn't share button boom done Share it on Twitter, share it on Facebook, share it on WhatsApp, share it on... In no, you can't share it on Instagram, I don't think. You know, do you know what I mean? Just whatever platform you, you enjoy and get in, keep in contact with people, then by all means, please do share it on that. But in the meantime, guys, look after yourselves. Have a fantastic week, because probably the majority of you guys are probably not going to see this on Sunday night. So look after yourselves, and I will see you very, very soon. We've got a very, very busy week of football once again. You know, obviously, we've got the European, go uh, the European game, and... and uh, against Genk away we've also you know we've also got uh, the Liverpool game coming up on Sunday Lo loads of stuff to keep an eye out for so please do make sure you're subscribed so in the meantime guys have a fantastic week and I'll see you very soon all the best